New tonight, two of the four candidates running for mayor of Knoxville face criminal charges. A jury convicted one candidate of assault. Prosecutors charged the other for selling and storing liquor illegally. Good evening and thank you for watching 10 News Night Beat. I'm John Becker. Crime and politics collide in the race to become mayor of Knoxville. 10 News reporter Vinay Simlot explains the fight in court for two political candidates battling to lead this city. An evening on Gay Street turned into an 18 month battle for Constance Every. Testimony at trial showed Every started yelling at Nama Sushi employees because she couldn't order over the phone. So we are having an unruly customer at a uh, uh, downtown Nama Bar. Employees told police she yelled and accused the manager of only serving white people. She got very, very nasty very quickly, all over the fact that she got here 15 minutes after we closed. She threw a lamp and shoved an employee, Warrant State. And then she said, Josh, I should gun you down myself, blah, 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 blah. Coffee. Because I am going to search you. Look, sure you ain't got no gun on him. me, no. Call a woman officer. Call a woman officer. You're a male. You are a male touching me. You're okay. touching me. Yes, I no gun. Police held every that October night in 2021. I'm not yelling. No, it's called the stretch. It's called traumatization. It's called white men on me with no male, with no female officer. Last month, a Knox County jury found Constance Every guilty of misdemeanor assault and disorderly conduct. Please find that gun you swear had. The body camera video was entered as evidence in the case. Video showing the context of both sides of the interaction. You know what is astonishing? Is the mayor and the rest of them go out of their way to kiss that ass. That worthless, misbehaved piece of Meantime, Richard Lawhorn used to own billiards and brews in West Knoxville. In 2020 and 2021, he fought a health department pandemic curfew. I mean, we know. This is video from his 18th citation for keeping billiards and brews open beyond accepted hours. Am I getting two of them? No. In February of 2021, the city of Knoxville revoked the bar's beer and local liquor license. In January of last year, the Tennessee Alcoholic Beverage Commission revoked billiards and brews' liquor by the drink license. Yet when law enforcement raided the bar last July, they found 20 kegs of beer and other alcoholic beverages on site. And undercover agents were able to buy alcohol at billiards and brews when the bar shouldn't have sold them, citations say. At the time, Mayor India Kincannon called billiards and brews the single most flagrant violator of pandemic safety measures. While he was still the owner of billiards and brews, Richard Lawhorn explained his fight against the city. For India Ken Cannon to lose the election, she's been a train wreck of a mayor. In June, a Knox County grand jury indicted Richard Lawhorn for illegally selling alcohol. Now, Richard Lawhorn is suing the city he's running to represent for those pandemic restrictions. He says he wouldn't comment on the lawsuit against the city. He says he wasn't aware of the indictments against him and threatened legal action against us if we reported them. Meantime, we asked Constance Every for an interview about her charges. She called WBIR racist. She agreed to an interview, but then texted me saying she would only talk to me if a black person conducted the interview. Every faces sentencing August 3rd in the assault case. In October, she and others face trial on charges they disrupted a Knox County meeting, John. Despite the legal trouble, those candidates can still run for mayor. They can, John. Tennessee law says if somebody's convicted of a felony, they can no longer run or qualify for public office. All of the charges Lawhorn and Every are facing are misdemeanors. Vinay Simlot on this story tonight. Thank you, Vinay.